Welcome to Audio Memos. This video will show you the important features of your new recording software. First things first, let's start Audio Memos and create a new memo. Just touch the icon to launch the application. As you can see, there's a nice big record button on the bottom of the screen. Let's press it. Welcome. You can easily pause your recording at any time. Playing it back is just as straightforward. Welcome. You can of course add a title to your memo to help you find it back later. Let's do that. Touch the cell containing the current title. As you can see, a little X appears on the right. Press it to erase the title, then just type what comes to your mind. When you're finished, press the done button. This will bring you back to the list of memos. As you can see, every item on the list displays the most important information about a memo. If you want more details about a memo, just press the arrow next to it. Now, imagine you want to add one more thing to that recording we've just made. It's easy. First, press Edit. Then, press the Record button. To Wonderland. Not convinced this was what you wanted to record? No problem. Let's go back. And change it. Confirm. To the real world. Welcome to the real world. There. Done. Now, let's share a memo with a friend. Press the send button. As our friend has an email address, we'll send him an email. Fill out the to field with his email address. Then press send. To get a copy of a memo on our computer, we could repeat the same procedure and send it to ourselves by email. However, there's a better way to do it. First, make sure your computer and iPhone or iPod are connected to the same wireless network. The network indicator in the status bar on top of the screen displays we're connected to a wireless network. We'll assume it's the right network. We'll need to have audio memos running during the entire procedure. Now, on your computer, let's open a web browser and go to Amazon.com. Then, click the Connect to your iPhone to download files link. The first time we try this, you'll get a message on your iPhone. Read the message and select Enable to go on. Go back to your web browser and try Connected again. A list with all our memos appears. To download a memo to your computer, right-click the name of the memo you want to download and select Download As. Click Save. Wait for the transfer to complete, and you're done. To save some space on your device, we can now go back to Audio Memos and delete our memo. For that, we just swipe our finger on the memo and confirm by clicking Delete. We will now expose some features found only in the paid version of Audio Memos. Let's create a new memo. This time, Instead of pressing the record button, we'll press the plus button. As you can see, this lets us change the quality and the stereo settings before we start recording. Now, say you want to record only when there is actually something to record, and silence is usually not something you want to record. For that, we'll select voice activated recording. A sound meter appears and lets you choose the level of sound which will start the recording. First, set the level that fits your needs. Then, press Start Listening. 
Recording will start when the sound level is high enough and will last as long as it stays high enough. As you can see, the sound meter turns from yellow to red when this happens. The standard sound meter, down here, and the pause button also give you an indication that recording is taking place. Another way to start or stop a recording is using a timer. It's quite straightforward. First, set a time interval, and then press start timer. When the counter reaches zero, recording will start or stop accordingly. While recording, you might want to keep track of important events, as for example, if you're doing an interview, it might be good to highlight the beginning of a new question. To do that, just press the Add Bookmark button. Later, when you're listening to your recording, you can go back and forth using the Next and Previous buttons. When you start to have a few recordings, you might want to deal with them in groups. For that, press the Edit button, select the recordings you want, then choose among the possible actions. Here, we'll send the recordings to an FTP server. So first, we touch Send. Then, if you haven't done so, you have to set up a server configuration. You can also add a new one at any time. In both cases, you'll have to touch the Add FTP Server. Then, you'll have to fill in the different fields. Please note that Audio Memos does not provide you with an FTP Server. Contact your IT specialist for more information on how to have one. Once you've correctly configured your FTP Server, just press its name and the recordings will be sent to it. Let's send the recordings to the server name Personal Server. As you can see, the network activity indicator is visible in the status bar. This means your recordings are being sent. Do not exit audio memos while this indicator is visible, as this will result in incomplete transfers. With the paid version of audio memos, you can access your recordings using the Finder or Windows Explorer. As with the web browser method, your iPod or iPhone and your computer have to be on the same wireless network. On your iPhone or iPod, press the I-shaped button. On the screen, you can now see a link composed of numbers. You'll have to remember this thing. On a Mac, go to the Finder, and then press Command-K. In Windows, open the Explorer and press Alt. A menu appears. Click on Tools, then on Map Network Drive. In both OS, you now have to type in the link you got from your iPhone or iPod. Press Connect or Finished. As you can see, you can now access your recordings as number of files. This concludes our tutorial. Do not hesitate to get in touch with us if you have further questions or suggestions. Thank you for your attention.